Hello, friends. My name is Andy Tuttle, and I'm the Director of Student Family Ministries here at Mount Tabor United Methodist Church. I am so excited about our Summer in the Scriptures Bible reading program that we've been doing. We just finished up the book of Romans, if you've been following along with us this summer, and we're now heading into the book of Proverbs. I often encourage people when they're getting ready to start studying a book of the Bible uh, to read the intros, to look it up online if you don't have one of those study Bibles that has stuff in there. It really helps us a lot to really understand more about the book. It helps us to understand about the book itself, author insights, time periods, themes, and more. Before sharing one of my favorite passages from this week's readings, what I'd like to do is share some excerpts from the introduction from one of my study Bibles. Proverbs itself mentions Solomon, who reigned 971 to 931 BC before Christ, as author or collector of its contents. The goal of the book is stated right at the beginning. So right in chapter one, as we open it up and we look at it, and it's to describe what wisdom is and to help God's people become wise. Wisdom is founded in the fear of the Lord. And it enables believers to express their faith in the practical details of everyday life. Really important stuff, right? The book is addressed to a young man. The situations he will face while he is young receive much attention. These situations supply concrete examples from which all readers can apply lessons to their own lives. Anyone who is wise and who pays attention will benefit from the instruction. We see that in Proverbs 1.5. The reader of Proverbs must seek to understand the various types of people that the book describes. You know, these most obvious characters in the book are the wise, the fool, and the simple. Proverbs urges its readers to be wise, which means embracing God's covenant and living out the covenant in everyday situations. The fool is the person who constantly opposes God's covenant. And then this simple is the person who is not firmly committed, either to wisdom or to folly. He is easily misled. The first nine chapters of Proverbs are wisdom poems. They urge the reader to pursue wisdom. The main section of Proverbs, the concise, memorable statements of two or three lines, beginning in 10.1. Proverbs often seems to be mere observations about life, but their deeper meanings will reveal themselves if the following questions are kept in mind. First, what virtue does the proverb commend? Second, what vice does it disapprove of? And third, what value does it affirm? Proverbs offers wisdom on a wide array of topics from daily life. Diligence and laziness, friendship, speech, marriage, child rearing, domestic peace, work, getting along and good manners, eternity, and much more. It shows that godliness is a value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for life to come. One of my favorite passages is Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, and it says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding." And all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. I hope you'll join me and many others as we continue to seek to grow in wisdom as we continue to move through the summer in the scriptures.